Hello, and we are back again. Here with the handsome Joshua Graham, all wrapped up in doing his gun so maintenance. I get to explore all those taboo places without the other scouts yelling at me? Can't wait. Yes, walks with chalk, we get to do that. Anyway, I'm not really clear on what I'm doing here exactly. I've walked into a tribe of scathing Native American parodies. How they know about Native Americans to parody them in the first place, I don't know. But Joshua Graham's got a lot of guns, so I have taken a good collection of them. I figure he's got this infinite stack of them just sitting there, so he won't mind if I take, like, ten of them. Oh, and it turns out they're really poorly maintained. Which really just raises the question, what the heck is Joshua doing with his time? Oh well, whatever. On to my next ridiculous task! And I'm walking, just kind of chewing the scenery. I mean, it's pretty out. There's a burnt out bus. Oh, what are you? Mole rat. Nothing to be scared of. See this? This is why your own two feet are better than any cart. Whether it's pulled by critters or goes on its own. Very insightful. Thanks, it's... It's really valuable. I'm glad I've got you as a teammate, Walks with Chalk. Other people might look at this kind of thing and say, Look at all these skeletons. What a sad tragedy. But you... You use it to justify your way of life. Good... Good dude. Good guy, Walks with Chalk. Broken compass. Wait, I have to do repairs? I wasn't expecting that. I'm not good at repairs. Why do I even need this thing? My pit boy does the compass. Well, I can't do any of these, so I guess I'll just take it with me and then figure it out on the way. My pit boy says I can just fix it at a workbench, so I guess I'll do that. Well, let's go, walks with chalk. So here we go, workbench. And there's the compass. All I need is the broken compass, plus workbench, and... That's it! Well, successfully fixed this compass. Look sharp. Lots of giant ants around here. We call them picnic killers. Don't really know what that means. Something from back when, I guess. You are just a hoot to learn from, dude. I don't suppose your people ever handed down the legends of the Hanna-Barbera cartoons, did they? Because it sounds like you get a little bit of your wisdom from those. Ah, oh, shoot. This plan's gonna take up so much ammo. Oh, but I guess it's okay, because there it goes. That's gotta be the first animal I've ever seen that runs away when it gets shot. So after wandering around Zion for a while, I have to admit that I don't really see the appeal of living here. Or at least not in the places that people have chosen to live. Like in the river, they don't have any crops or anything. I don't know what they do for, for food. As long as I remember, the dead horses have thought that places of the old world were taboo. It doesn't look so spooky to me. No, it really doesn't, Walks with Chalk. Some of the people are apparently heavily lobotomized. I mean, hey, I dealt with that at Big Mountain, but not quite like this. I mean, if the lobotomites had run up to talk to me like Walks with Chalk, I, I don't know what I would have said. I probably would have politely gone along with it like I do with Walks with Chalk. I mean, I don't know. I is it just me, or maybe I just notice the people that stand out? But it seems like every time I leave New Vegas, I get saddled with someone who's, like, really bizarre. Who wants to tell me stuff without actually sharing any real information. Why do you carry all those bottle caps anyway? They jangle like crazy. All these bugs and stuff are just soaking up my ammo! What did you call them? Walkie-talkies? Those are going to be loads better than signal drums and smoke signs. Yeah, they're gonna be- they're gonna be great, Walks with Chalk. Thank you for your valuable insight. Oh my god! Oh my god! And they have Cazadors, but just big! Cazador's Plus! So you know what's kind of alarming? Using a ton of ammo on low-threatening bugs that just require a lot of ammo, and then being ambushed by a giant Cazador. I mean, really, this place just has Cazadors, but to the next level. Why? I don't know. Because horrible. Okay, what have I got here? Contaminated medical supply kit. The bottles are leaking, the bandages are no longer sterile, the supply kit is basically worthless. What am I doing exactly? I got a compass, I got some walkie-talkies, just two of them. I got this supply kit. Wasn't the caravan supposed to be coming through here? Did they not have an intact supply kit? Besides, it's like one kit I've got here, right? Not even a fully intact kit. How many people can it help? Two, three... It's for a whole tribe. I'm really not sure what my purpose here is. 
Okay. And now I'm looking for Little Scout lunch boxes. I don't... I don't even... Do they, do they not have, like, lunch boxes to send their kids to school with? What am I doing? Oh no! Follows Chalk, you... You got killed by this thing out here. How did you live out here before when you can't even handle... What? What is going on in Zion? You know, I feel like I really should be upset, and I'm just not. And I'm really upset about the fact that I'm not upset. I mean, what the heck is wrong with me? I feel like... I feel like Walks with Chalk wasn't even really a person. He was more like just a weird cartoon in Hello. You are the one Joshua Graham sent to us. Blessings of the Father in the cave on you. Daniel is waiting for you. Oh, great. Thanks. Uh... I don't remember anyone saying anything about Daniel. Could you fill me in? Daniel is a wise man and a great friend to the Sorrows. Oh. He taught me to speak the language of New Canaan, the English from the Holy Books. Holy Books, huh? So they got you on a religion, huh? Yes. The language of the New Canaanites is the Holy Tongue, for it is the language their sacred books are written in. The Father in the Caves brought it to them after the Judgment. But the ancestors of the Sorrows sinned against him. They were denied the true tongue. Oh. So how long has this been going on? Six years. He attended the birth of my third child. It was a hard birth. The river nearly carried my water to the father, and my child's with it. Oh. Daniel knew the ways of New Canaan's medicine. He stepped in and saved both of our lives. After the birth, I asked Daniel if he would teach me what he knew of childbirth. He agreed, and so here I am. Let's talk about something else, please. What would you speak of? What is your deal? What do you need from me? Let's let's focus on what we can do for each other. Waking Cloud is my name. I am midwife to the Sorrows. It sounds ill omen, no? Midwife to Sorrows? Haha. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I don't see a lot of kids around, midwife. The children and the old have already been evacuated from the camp. They are safe enough, unless the White Legs come for us in force. Then what do you do, and why are you in my face? Why are you in my face? I tend to other hurts and sicknesses that afflict our tribe. I also scout the valley for the herbs I use in my medicines. Oh, okay, great. Let's talk about something else. What would you speak of? Let's talk about go away. Stop talking to me. That's all I need to know. Then I will look forward to our next speaking. Is there gonna be another one? What I really wanted to ask was, did the tattoos on your boobs hurt? That's what I want to know. But of course, I'm never gonna find out because if I ask, I'm gonna learn some kind of ridiculous backstory. Oh, frig. It's not just what they say, it's the grinding slowness with which they say it. Hello? The dead horses told me details about the attack on your caravan. A stranger's sympathy might not count for much, but for what it's worth, I'm sorry. Okay. The sorrows will mourn your friends too. They mourn everyone. Great. Even the white lights. Sad. They have sensitive souls. Innocent if there is such a thing. Oh no. So in spite of what's happened, I hope that Joshua and I can help you out of it. To be frank, we need your Protecting help their innocence, I guess. Is that seriously? Just just okay, I've got things for you. Well I'll be. I was starting to lose hope we'd be able to get any of this, much less all of it. Tribals are smart, but they're ignorant. You are a dick! Letting go of a taboo is difficult for them. So I knew it would have to be one of us. This is just stereotypes! Turns out all it took was a gentile. Or, uh... No offense. These supplies are a godsend. But if we're going to evacuate Zion without drawing more white leg attention, I need you to go back into the valley. Specifically, I need you to scout out some locations for white legs and try to recover a map of Grand Staircase. A wilderness area to the east. Okay. There's also the matter of the roads. We're going to be heading out of the east side of the park, but I'm not sure the way is clear. Okay. Fine, I will do what I can to help you out, I guess. Anything to get out of here. Listen, I understand that you want to go home, but we didn't ask you to come to Zion. As far as I'm concerned, you're an uninvited guest. Well, you're a racist dick. Times, I drop everything to help you out. But I have to ensure the safety of the Sorrows first. You, I... And don't think you're alone in this. One of the Sorrows, Waking Cloud, has volunteered to help you in the valley. She's an experienced hunter and has a special gift for staying out of sight when she needs to. Should make things easier for you. After that, 
All that's left is to evacuate the sorrows safe and sound. I'll give you a map and supplies. Everything you need to get back home. Oh, I got this guy's number. Oh, the sorrows. They're so noble, so pure, but very ignorant. If only someone would lead them. Oh, I know. Me. I'll be their religious leader. This dude's probably having sex with half the tribe's women. Everybody who disagreed probably got shunned from society. They don't have any friends anymore. This guy dropping backhanded compliments and insults in the same breath. Probably got people turned around, so confused with themselves. Cult leader. Obvious cult leader. Daniel said that I was to travel with you until you have completed your scouting. Is this pleasing to you? It, it, it's fine with me. Let's go, I guess. Before we depart, our shaman, White Bird, asked me to convey his desire to speak with you. Okay, what does he want? He did not say. White Bird is notoriously close-lipped, but he is wise, and you would do well to speak to him. Okay, I guess I'll speak to White Bird. Hey, just out of curiosity, Waking Cloud, has Daniel ever tried to, like, make you get naked for God? Or anything? Because if he has, you need to think twice before you do it. So I see you guys live up here in the cliffs. You got a bridge that spans across, and... Which side is the wise man on? Is he over here on the right-hand side or the left-hand side? Oh. Well, I see that this goes nowhere. I'm really thrilled that you built a bridge to nowhere. That was good. So you got this winding cave passageway? Do you guys put up signs? Like, maybe just a, like an arrow that says, This way to the wise man's cave! Okay, okay, now look, look, now my pit boy will tell me where to go, but it's only in two dimensions. It won't tell me if I have to go up or down, so am I in the right place? Am I warm or am I cold? Now I'm in another cave with no people in it. First I had mole rats and then I had coyotes. How come people don't live in your caves? Moreover, how is it that these tribes never had access to the outside world? Daniel and Joshua clearly found their way here. How come anyone else couldn't find their way out? I mean, I look around, and there's trees and grass, and the place wasn't hit by radiation. You'd think that people might find their way out here. That they might want to find places like this. Oh, for goodness sake, this just goes to nothing. Oh, wait. Bridge over here. I have had it about up to here with this stupid, confusing layout for this place. I hope your wise man slips and falls off of one of these cliffs. That pretty much summarizes how invested I am in your entire people, really. I hope you all just fall off of the cliffs. I have dealt with some weird groups before, but nobody who made me want to pull out my hair, and was also super boring about it at the same time, and wasn't giant and blue. I mean, if you guys were all giant and blue, at least you would have some kind of physically interesting thing going on, but you don't even have that. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right, you guys got a fake made-up language that you put together when you weren't seeing any people. I bet you guys are just a bunch of crazy cultists that came out here like six years ago, and you're starving now. And now, my goodness, Joshua Graham is here. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. Yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. You got the brr. Remember, O oh Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it. Brr. Raise it even to the foundation. Brr. O oh, daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. Are you dating? Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. The little what? Do you know what it means? Uh, if I can be honest, I wasn't even really paying attention. Something about, uh, you don't want to leave Zion. The White Legs didn't just force my people out of New Canaan. They butchered everyone who wasn't fast enough to get away. Oh, that was Jet. The elderly, the ill, children, those who stopped to help the wounded. It made no difference to them. They can't be reasoned with. The White Legs. They would listen to you. Daniel believes that if we leave, if the Sorrows leave, the White Legs will stop. He doesn't understand what this kind of tribe is like. Yeah, well, Daniel's a little... Yeah. I know what they're like. They're raiders. But tell me your take on it, though. I'd love to hear it. God told Moses that the tribes of Cain would not be welcome in Zion. Uh-huh. The White Legs are as close as I have seen. Beyond hope. Beyond redemption. Man. But if the Sorrows die in a state of ignorance, their salvation may be delayed as well. Passing from life in this world 
to a spiritual prison. Huh. We have a responsibility to protect this place and those who have come to dwell in it. If you feel the same way, speak with Daniel. Okay. There may yet be time to save Zion from those who are too ignorant to understand what they have come to destroy. Okay. Well, here's a good place to stop for now. For whatever progress we accomplished. Thanks for playing with me, everybody.